Well, joining us now on the live wire is Curtis Tompkins, and Curtis is relatively new at UNC Charlotte, among the among the newest crop of, of leaders here on campus. So, first of all, Curtis, not only welcome to Live Wire, but yeah. welcome to UNC great. Charlotte. Thank you, Stephen. And, I appreciate it. It's great to be here. And you are here to take the helm of executive education in the Belt College of Business. Yes. Is it as simple as the name says, executive education? Um, Education for executives is a starting yeah, point, but what are we talking sure. about from a program standpoint, and, and who are you attracting? To yeah, it's a it's a good a good starting point. Yeah, it's um, it's not only it's designed for individuals that are either currently in leadership positions mm -hmm. or or high potentials, as as we call them in the in the business. They um, you know they may not be in current leadership positions, but they're they're being groomed within their and organizations. This will help. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. Our outreach is to the to the business community, you know, for profit and nonprofit, because as you're probably aware, nonprofits have leaders as well. So it's not just uh, one segment of the of, sure. of businesses or organizations. So, um, but our target is uh, is we try to get as close to the, that executive or C-suite as we can, but more likely it's going to be. Uh, you know, certain leaders, leadership level, maybe director and above, director, VP, and and so forth. So. And what are we what are we learning in the program if we come your way? Is this a place to come, get an MBA or a certificate yeah. or attend yeah. some great seminars or? Yeah, what? this is uh, certificate driven, so mm -hmm. it's not a it's not a graduate school or, yeah. or a master's level. Uh, what you're going to uh, receive here, it's typically one to three days of of content that's designed for individuals who are. Um, needing that uh, they're in their careers but they need a little bit extra development in certain areas so yeah. our topics uh, range from you know leadership to really focus on which the initiatives we have here at the university uh, analytics data analytics so we have programs around those data analytics as well as other type marketing uh, efforts um, so the, the topics will vary uh, from an open enrollment perspective open enrollment meaning individuals who can register at our website uh, uh, just uh, as programs appear or we create them they can register for those uh, on a one-off basis so the programs vary uh, from data analytics to true leadership type programs innovation is is key as well um, and, uh, and and again just a, a strategy is another one as well so it's a number of topics that we feel could could and will resonate within the business it doesn't community. it doesn't sound like you're um, missing any of the bases on this one in terms of well there's there's definitely a kind of field where this wouldn't apply right exactly you know, exactly everybody exactly too, so. so uh yeah it's uh because as you know a lot of the audience will know i mean leadership is is at all is, is different levels sure but um, uh you know leaders are groomed and and become and they and again leaders need to you know once you become a leader you know development or, or ex a, uh, develop, development doesn't go away yeah. it's ongoing when did, when did leadership become um, a thing? You know, le leadership is yeah. something that we build programs about, around. We do outreach around. We sure. do training around. Was there ever a time when we might refer to the old days when you know you, you're just the boss and you got there yeah. either because you're around long enough right. or you own the company yeah. or I mean, when did this concept of leadership as something that is lifelong learning right. and et cetera, et cetera, really yeah, blossom. Yeah, ex well, executive education to, to meet that role was, was started decades ago. So mm -hmm. it's uh, executive education um, as a whole is, hasn't been around that long, mm -hmm. but uh, executive education is a, is a vehicle to help with that leadership development. And I hate to use, uh, hate to try to stay from using the term leadership development because mm -hmm. it's more than, um, uh, you know, leadership as a whole because there's leadership is covers various sure. aspects but it uh, it's it's uh, you know today's times it's so dynamic mm -hmm. as, as we all know uh, leaders uh, you know not only change but they need information quick yeah. very quickly so we try to focus on um, we go out to the business community and and try to uh, sp you know listen to what the what the leaders are asking for within their respective companies, and we try to build what's hot or what's what's important today yeah. within within the business world. So uh, it's just dynamic. I mean, change happens. I mean, things are happening very quickly. Uh, I know that the last thing you had on uh, Josh and Paul talking about, you know, the, the, the degree side when it comes mm -hmm. to data and uh, uh, big data. 
Uh, and so we're partnering with, with them as well to help build those type of programs that could that should or could resonate within um, the business community. So when when executive leaders in the Charlotte market mm -hmm. uh, come to UNC Charlotte to take part yeah. in the programs mm -hmm. that you're leading here, um, these are these are classes that are going to resemble uh, a graduate seminar. It's taught by our faculty, or right. are, what are there any? dramatic differences between yeah. this and just sitting in on a college class. Sure, sure. Yeah, the the the, the main difference is the yes, we're using uh, faculty not only from Bell College but of some of the other colleges within the university. But the 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 faculty uh, throughout the university have also have the not only the the research behind them and in the in class teaching, but they also have the the practical aspect. A lot of our faculty have actually gone into business and helped consult with with the businesses and mm -hmm. have helped them solve their problems. So uh, participants are going to get um, uh, you know that aspect in terms of the faculty that 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 they're going to bring to to the table. One of the other things that we're doing, I think, is unique with here at UNC Charlotte is we're also creating uh, partnership opportunities from an open enrollment standpoint. Mm -hmm. Uh, to where organizations, uh, you know, some consulting firms, as an example, where uh, they have clients. So we're partnering with them to bring in their subject matter experts at the consulting firm and uh, co-teach a program. So the participants, the, the benefits they're going to get is not only they're going to get the academia side uh, with our faculty, but they're also going to get the practical side from the subject matter experts that the consulting firms are going to bring to the table. So it, it, the, 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 the participants are really going to benefit from getting both aspects. Uh, and, and we feel that's going to be a win, not only for the university and the consultants, because uh, their clients are going to be, uh, you know, we help them solve their problems, but also for the, mainly the participants. They're really going to, going to get uh, a, a lot from getting both aspects. And you, you have participants coming from across the Charlotte region. Mm -hmm. um, do you draw more from right up here in University City where we do have a number of yeah. uh, well-established sure. and pretty big-name businesses? Sure. I mean, we're, I mean we're, we're, we're a fairly new organization within the Bell College, but yeah. we're, we're, our, we're focused not only in this, this area, but you know, in the uptown area mm -hmm. or, uh, areas as well as south. So... Our reach is going to be ultimately is going to be in the region. Yeah. We want to really want to focus on the region. But but and, again, the, yeah. the programs are here on the main campus and at Center City. Yes, or well, both? that's a good question. It's uh, we're mainly at the Center City okay. building. Okay, let's take a look uptown. at the web while we're sure. talking too. And yeah, so, talk us talk us through then the sure. location mm -hmm. for the most part, Center City. Center City, yep. Okay. And we've got uh, great structure there. Uh, uh, it's a twelve-story building uh, in, in in uptown and uh, multiple floors, the, the way that their classrooms are set up, their flat classrooms from a, from a learning environment, flat classrooms, which is important to, because within executive education, it's, it's active learning. It's not, you're just not sitting there uh, receiving uh, lecture. It's breakouts and, and really participat uh, participating within uh, the room and also tiered classrooms. So some faculty need to teach from a, from a traditional mm -hmm. classroom setting as well. Yeah. Well, and here on your website, we're, we're, we're at the page where I think we're, we're talking about what you touched on, um, delving into some programming sure. with, uh, with big data and yeah, our initiative yeah. here at the yeah. university. Um, it, and this program in particular is something sure. that's happening this month, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, yeah February later, 25th later to the month, so There's still time as folks see this to get involved absolutely. in this. Um, yeah. The, the rate at which you're offering programs, mm -hmm. is it every month, every... Yeah, the way our programs are, are, are set up, we, we set up programs uh, with uh, spring offerings mm -hmm. and then fall offerings. Uh, so what, what you're looking at here on our website are, are more of our spring offerings. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, for yeah, example, we've got, the, yeah, we've got the, the digital marketing analytics uh, a program that's coming up here mm -hmm. uh, February 25th to the 27th. That's a, a unique program because we have, as I mentioned, the, the structure of having uh, faculty. Uh, Dr. Jared Hansen is, is one of those uh, faculty members that's, that's, that's teaching the program, but also a, a practitioner who uh, is at Belk, 
yeah. uh, the, the retailer, uh, Dr. Anu Brookings, is co-facilitating uh, or teaching that mm -hmm. program. So again, participants are going to get the best, best, best of both worlds in that program that, again, is focusing on, you know, how do you manage your data at the different, at various aspects from mobile to online to digital to, to uh, you know, just, just those different aspects of, of data and then managing that data uh, and be able to take action on that data to make strategic business decisions. Talking talk in a minute about uh, where you've come from. Yeah. But now that you're here in Charlotte and you've begun to kind of size up the market in a hands-on kind of way, sure. is this a market where the executive leadership um, is really open and into the, mm -hmm. the concept of, you know, availing themselves sure. of, of the offerings you have here? Sure. Or is there a need to say a lot more time spent? Here's why you should do this. Sure. Or do, do the, do, does the leadership here get it? Yes, I think it, so. uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. This is uh, a good time to to actually start up an executive uh, educational program. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, I'll you know do a pit, quick pitch here. We recently signed a, a new a new custom uh, opportunity with with a with a local firm, and they see the value of using our resources. Uh, we're essentially located within the Charlotte area. Uh, very large research, obviously research university, but they see the benefit of, of having the location in Uptown, mm -hmm. where where the, the the program will be will take place. Uh, but it, it's a great time because the the need is there. The yeah. need is here in the Charlotte market to have a local university. You know, and our our viewers know UNC Charlotte is driving the 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 numbers when it comes to UNC system itself. So we're a growing university, and. Uh, I, I, you know, we're getting the word out, you know, and organizations, companies are seeing, you know, what there's a there's a, an organization or a university that can, we can really benefit from from partner being a, having a partnership. So, so the the need is there, and it's it's you know up to me and, and my team to really capture that and uh, that uh, uh, excitement that's going on uh, right now. We we all want to hope that. Um We've rounded the corner on the economy, and, the, yeah. and that the uh, the downturn is turning into an upturn that's going to stick around for a while. Mm -hmm. But um, is executive education something that, um, like like other aspects of education, mm -hmm. kind of does better when things are down? Do, you know, do executives say, "I've got to yeah. find some better solutions here. What can I do?" And that's sure. when the time for that kind of continuing education, sure. or is it more steady? It is. Through? It's steady. Mm -hmm. um, it really depends on your mix of, of client base. Yeah. Um, uh, you are, you know, from a custom aspect, uh, when I say custom, meaning we, we have the ability to help a, 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 an organization customize a solution that meets their specific needs. So uh, an organization may, may have a group of leaders or high potential leaders, maybe it's 20, 15, 20, and they want to groom those individuals for future, you know, future executive level positions. So if you, and if that industry, you know, doesn't get hurt by, you know, the economic uh, aspects, then yeah, you're, as long as you've got a good mix of those type of, of, of client base that can, that can, uh, knowing that they, they want to continue building their pipeline of leaders, then you should be okay. Now, I will say I've been in the, in the executive uh, education business for a number of years and, mm -hmm. you know, the lat the downturn, to your point, yeah, hopefully we're over the, we're, you know, over the hump, so to speak. But you know, 2009, 2010, 2011 were, were tough for executive education. Right. Uh, we're tough for everything. We're tough for everything, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. but uh, but yeah, I guess the the answer is if you have a good mix of of, yeah. of not only offerings from open enrollment where individuals can can you know pick and choose what they want to develop and custom and your custom base, uh, executive education should be kind of a good good way to, to keep things steady. Now you came here. F Directly from UGA, from University of okay. Georgia. Yes, exactly. All right. Yeah, and you spent some time in Atlanta, or you're from the Atlanta? I'm area? not from the Atlanta area originally. Okay, but uh, I spent many, many years. Okay. I went to, to undergraduate school there, and uh, and uh, you know, that was home. Obviously, Charlotte is yeah. now home for me. Well, I, and I don't want to close out our conversation by putting you too too much on the spot, but yeah. I'm always curious when somebody who's from or spent some time in Atlanta and sure. Greater Atlanta and Georgia comes through and. Mm -hmm your impressions from a comparison standpoint sure. between the two markets yeah. and where one has been, where it's going, yeah. where one is, where it's going, sure. that kind of thing. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> from from an executive education 
standpoint or just as a as both. a market? How about both? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's let's focus on executive education. Yeah. I, I, you know, USC Charlotte is very well positioned. Um, as we, we we talk about the, you know, the, the university has said, you know what, big data, data analytics is is what we're we're going to be known as. Mm -hmm. So, you know, coming to the university, uh, I didn't have that focus at mm -hmm. uh, in in the Atlanta market, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. That market was was leadership. Mm -hmm. It was really the soft skill development. Mm -hmm. So. So in that regard, I mean, we're well positioned uh, to do great things mm -hmm. uh, from a, from an executive education perspective because, yeah, organizations are tackling with the whole data initiative and big data, but they they may not have really, you know, hitched their wagon, so to speak, with a with a with a university partner. So yeah. we're well positioned for that. So uh, so from executive education perspective, uh, it's it's. Um, the markets are, are very competitive, don't get me wrong, because you have big business in the Atlanta market and, you know, some well, well, you know, big Fortune 500, sure. Fortune 1000 companies in this market. But it's a different, it's just a different feeling. We're not, as executive education, we're not leading with leadership mm -hmm. development, so to speak. We can do it, don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. We can assist organizations uh, with developing their, those soft skills, but we're not leading with it. So. Yeah. So, from an executive education standpoint, uh, you know, it's it's competitive, similar to a degree, but but not as much because our focus is on the on the data aspect. From just a, 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 an atmosphere, from a business standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, it's um, I I think the businesses here and the organization are, are more open to speaking uh, with us or mm -hmm. with me and my team because in Atlanta you've got uh, you know. You know some major universities yeah. right there, and here in Charlotte, from a from a research standpoint, we're yeah. we're it. University it's of Charlotte it. is sure. it. Yeah. Uh, well, when you look at the state, uh, the North Carolina State or South Carolina, you know there's some other major a couple universities, others. couple yeah. others, yeah, uh, but... big players within <laughs> exec ed right. uh, and outside of exec ed. So, yeah. but in this market, I think uh, you know the, the the direction we're going as a university is really. Uh, I'm excited to be here because yeah. you know it's it's a you know the university hasn't been around for that many years comparatively to other uh, big schools, uh, and the, just the excitement is is really growing. It's, yeah, and it, you know, and it, one of the things that struck me about being in Charlotte yeah. is that more of the people you meet are from somewhere else, right. and that's that's yeah. kind of the fun of it yeah. in some ways. But uh, this is a place clearly with big aspirations yes. and a lot of energy behind it. Yeah. And I just, I'm just curious. Uh, the, the only other thought on that is, do, do you do you perceive that? And yes. do you do you sense that it's um, maybe you know how does that compare with what you yeah. were experiencing in Atlanta? Or yeah. no, I, I I you know the, the you know the, the the main one of the main differences that I that that I have here the University of Georgia, great university. Uh, been around for for 1789, wasn't yeah, it? Something yeah, something of that yeah. nature. <laughs> uh, but uh, they have a head the, start on us. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but the 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 backing of the the faculty, yeah. the backing of the you know the dean, uh, the dean uh, mm -hmm. dean uh, Steve Ott has been very active in in the outreach for executive executive education has been phenomenal yeah. um, and, and all the way up to the chancellor uh, they are committed to um, the initiative from not only executive education but also the big data initiative so yeah. I feel it and, and it's it's um, and I feel it at there at that level but as, as all the way down to uh, other levels of, of the university yeah. it's it's so it's that's a that's a big difference I would well, say I think it, it sounds like we're, we're fortunate to have you here, and I think uh, you, you came in November, and we've turned the corner on winter as it's known yes. in Charlotte, <laughs> yeah. so I think, you know, definitely sunny days ahead. Yeah. Um, and just, just a quick note in, in closing our conversation, for folks who want to know more about the executive education mm -hmm. program that is part of the Belt College of Business, mm -hmm. um, on the web, it's exec, mm -hmm. E-X-E-C, yeah hyphen hyphen ed, ed uh -huh. dot uncc dot edu so exec ed dot uncc dot yep. edu mm -hmm. and uh, certainly folks will want to take a look at the programs that are going to be listed on the website for the the month and months ahead and and get on board with some of those and again 
important note, as you said, most if not all are going to be at uh, Center City. Yes, so that's absolutely. good to know too. So, yeah. and uh, that that's another example, I think, of something um, for which we're all waiting for light rail and the yeah. completion because it's yeah. going to make that connection so much better. Absolutely. Too, so. One more one more aspect of of the fun times ahead here at Charlotte, UNC Charlotte, and yeah. the city of Charlotte as well. So. With all that rambling close, we want to thank Curtis Tompkins for joining us. Yes, and we'll look forward to having you back and watching your uh, progress yeah. uh, and about College of Business, too. So Look forward to it.